Look, it's the Duke's son. No, that's Satan's son. Hang him from the chimney! Die, heretic. Kill him. <laughs> Dwellers of Villa de Fontenegra, behold the power of the Inquisition! No son of Satan will ever escape the wrath of God. Not even he who hides in noble garments.
My name is Miguel de Castro, son of Don Alvaro de Castro, Duke of Fuentenegro. I order you in his name, set me free at once. Now, now, you're in no position to give orders, Don Miguel. You can only have one father, and your ability to understand every language indicates that your true father is the devil himself. Hence, the Duke has disowned you before the Inquisition. You're right. I am the spawn of Satan. So set me free, mortal, or your descendants will be cursed forever. You swear in vain, Don Miguel. Your menaces don't move me. Unlike the Cretans in his superstitious village, I don't believe in the existence of God or the devil. Why is there a hog in my cell? Like you, it awaits its turn to be tortured and judged. If only it were wait in silence! What's my disgusting cell companion accused of? With sacrilege. The monk who took care of it cut himself with a farming tool. The pig smelled the blood, went wild, and ate him. That's murder, not sacrilege. Ah, oh, were it only a murder, it wouldn't be judged by the Inquisition, but by your former father. The monk had just received communion, you see. According to the church, he had Christ's body inside him. So the Og received communion by eating the monk. And as we all know, taking communion without being baptized is a sacrilege. One common of demons. It's total foolishness, but ours is a foolish world. Are you crazy? How can the Inquisition judge an animal? This isn't the first time. Months ago, a bunch of termites were judged. They had eaten an altarpiece. The French Inquisition, on its side, got an org to confess a crime after torturing it for days. That really is crazy. Oh, the Inquisition is a magnificent craze. In any case, 
Once you get to know my methods, you will be sure I can coax a confession out of the most silent of stones. So then, you're going to torture a hog? I will admit, it's not as satisfying as torturing a human being. But we all must do things we don't really like. As soon as I finish with you, I'll start on it. But if the noise that the hog makes annoys you, how will you be able to torture it? It's true that the crying of a baby would disturb my dreams. But the cries of a baby being torn apart by my own hands would embellish them. You said Villar de Fuentenegro is a superstitious village. As soon as the word spread that you can understand every language, your neighbors denounced you to the Inquisition. Who was in my cell before me? A simpleton who satisfied his onanist impulses during vigil mass. Ooh. The idiot couldn't understand what he was accused of. He didn't have a clue what to confess. Shame, really. Are you going to torture me? Yes, I am. They'll ask questions you have no answer for. Like all prisoners, you'll hang on to a vain hope of survival. It'll take you hours to confess. With a little bit of luck, I'll get to use all my instruments on you. There's a wooden board with holes in my cell. What's it for? It amazes me that you've never seen the stalks before. The Duke, your former father, must have used it on his vassals very often. Right, the head goes in the big opening, your arms or legs in the small ones. Then it's taken to the public square for public school. What else can you tell me about the stocks? Well, the stocks is a free torture instrument invented by Sir Richard Stockman. He believes that torture is a common good, a space of possibilities that should be open to the community's creativity. This way, everyone can modify the prisoner's state by forking him or distributing his individuality over him, usually in the shape of fluids if you take my meaning. There was oil inside the cauldron in my cell, wasn't there? The usual procedure is to boil the oil and then pour it over the prisoner. I prefer to combine it with metal funnels to fill his orifices. How does the boot work? You turn the handle to separate the two boards as much as possible. Then you put the prisoner's ankle between them. You drink all the time. Why aren't you drunk by now? He who has soldiered long enough becomes immune to alcohol. And crab lice, for that matter, Don Miguel. There are things a man does to forget what he did today and face what he'll do tomorrow. Why, a minute ago, you ordered me to obey you in the name of the Duke. If my soul had any room for mercy, it wouldn't be for you. Then the Inquisition will be very happy to hear about your absence of faith. You'll be pleased to know that this is exactly why the Inquisition hired me. So many prisoners down here threaten me with their satanic powers. A superstitious man would have fallen prey already. Oh, <laughs> 